Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. When we last left off, we were going to head over to the sales office, I believe. We're going to do a little bit of backtracking on this uh, video here as well. It's completely optional backtracking, but it's absolutely worth it. Uh, we are not great ammo-wise, are we? So let's mix up some shotgun shells. I don't know why I've left it so long to mix these shotgun shells up. We might as well just do it. Uh, and then we only need to find one more. Is it one more pack of shotgun shells? And then we can uh, make the enhanced ammo. Or is it... I can't remember exactly. If it's like six, seven or eight packs. I can't remember. Uh, there we go. Right, let's combine all of these up. Now, um, I, my playing skills are hampered again. Because not just the fact that it's me and I'm generally um, an average gamer at best uh, but I have a heavily 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 infected finger the worst that I've ever had in my life it's uh, yeah my um, right index finger is now double the size it should be and it's all funky colors it's an infected cuticle uh, it happens with my job so I'm trying best not to use it I did try and play the remake of this because I'm on holiday the other day just to unlock some more stuff yeah no chief I, I nope, can't use a mouse for that um, so I did take a ice cube and a pin to it yesterday uh, with me and the missus and th that was an interesting experience all the colors of the rainbow let me tell you um, but I woke up this morning and it's back even bigger my missus is calling it a dinosaur finger um, yeah so hopefully it's Sunday today hopefully tomorrow I can get up extra early phone the doctors and try and get some uh, <laughs> antibiotics for that because yeah uh, I would put a picture in here but uh, I'd probably get some kind of graphic content warning or something I don't know it's not pretty chief it's it's not so unfortunately like I'm on holiday and tomorrow is gonna be like my first potential recording day in like five weeks or something because the missus is going back to work and I can't play games isn't that wonderful huh isn't that absolutely brilliant fucking so sods law chief Right, anyway, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. Yeah, I think the infection is getting to me as well because I'm sweating Profu profusely. Right, here we go. I'll stop with the, the, the details now. Come on, Fido. Come get your medicine. Come on. Come on. think we might be out of rounds now. Come on, baby. There we go. Is the gun empty? No, we still got three rounds left, but for all intents and purposes, this weapon is now empty, so let's drop it back. Actually, you know what I might do? I might take the handgun. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick the handgun back. Um, yeah, we'll, t we'll take the reloading tool with us. Oh, we need the wrench. Yeah, that would have been stupid, wouldn't it? Might want a gun equipped, Jill, as well, because there's brain suckers and... I've gone out the wrong door again, haven't I? I swear I'm delirious. I... No, I haven't. I swear I'm getting delirious. I'm not actually joking about that either, because... Um, <laughs> yesterday... No, I can't... I, what, what day are we on? Today... Uh, we had a bit of a sort out of our paperwork. Now, our landlord is very old school. Like, very old school, okay? So, you know, to pay rent, we literally take money out of the bank and hand it to him. Uh, we usually do it in an envelope. And then a few days later, he will give us a... Uh, a receipt. Um, so, we couldn't find the rent this morning. Uh, turn out I'd thrown it away. Yeah. So, luckily, um, 
about 30 seconds. Yes, you do need to use it. 30 seconds of digging through a bin. Uh, managed to find it. So, that's interesting. Yes. Just, just literally threw it in the bin. With like a whole heap of paperwork. I swear, I swear, this T-virus is getting to me now. Anyway, let's go. So we have a fire hydrant. Fire hydrant, no we don't, we have a fire hose. Fire hose is an interesting item, it's single use. Ooh, yeah, what we've got in here? It'll either be brain suckers or drain demos. That's ah, drain demos, okay. They're basically the same thing. Like, oh god. Uh, can we auto aim please, Jill? Ah, that hurt. Yeah, we're going to get really badly fucked up here. That was annoying. Three shotgun shells. No way. I don't believe... Wow. We're on bad caution, son. That was a really shitty roll. That was a really shitty roll. Dude. Dude, seriously. Are we on danger? How did that happen? How did that happen? Fucking hell. Okay. Yeah, that's cool game. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, uh, this is actually the second time of me trying to record this video because instead of pushing uh, record on OBS, uh, I actually pushed pause because I don't know, I just seem to be doing everything wrong today, which is making me wonder about this finger thing. Um, so we actually died on the way. We had such a cool run, man. We were like dodging everything and like dodging the zombies and doing really cool kills. And I was like, I was really chuffed. Um, and then, we got to the sales office, just outside the sales office, and there was, um, was it a Drain Demo or Bloodsucker? I know it was one of them, it was a Drain Demo. And we got stun locked. It had me in the corner. And every time I aimed my gun at it uh, and pushed the fire button, Jill dodged. Jill had nowhere to dodge to, so it got a free instant hit on us. Uh, I couldn't move. I was stun locked into the corner. That was actually quite a savagely unfair death. And I actually wish that I had recorded that more than how pretty fucking fantastic the rest of the run went. Um, oh no, this is so awful. This is so awful. I. Oh no. Like, two of those things just... I mean, they're very easy to dodge, you know? That's the thing. It's just... <sighs> the way she jumped behind me there and Jill just wouldn't auto-target for some reason. Which does seem to happen in this game fairly often. The target, the auto-aim system is not great. But then, that was the same in Resident Evil 2 as well. So, you know. Ah, you got to roll with the punches though, haven't you? That's the way it goes. Keep taking those blows, Jill. As long as you can, uh, you know, get up again, I guess. Okay. Right, I swear to God we're going to get there one day. Alright, let's go put out this fire. The flaming dogs that were here are no longer here, so I'm going to assume that they just, like, burnt to death. Oh, yeah, we've got to go through here first. We have an explodey barrel there. Which is good to know. Maybe we'll exploit that. Maybe we will. Might not be an awful idea to get rid of Nemesis, you know. Um, oh, oh, we got zombies out here. Ooh, that's a different role. Last time, um, when I recorded this video earlier, we had three dogs out here. So, very interesting. Come on, you shambling fuckers. Let's make this nice and simple. 
don't really want to spend a shell for each one of you, to be honest, but, you know. Well, that's fine. This is a high travel area. How many was that? That was a lot. Like six or seven of them or something? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, what are we doing here? What do I want to take with me? I might take the handgun, actually. Just because, like I say, we, oh, I can't remember if I said this or not because of the, the, the video thing. Um, this is a high travel area. So we want to clean this area out, which we have done. I'm curious to see what else is going to spawn, but I do want to take the handgun. And I want to take the reloading tool. Just, and um, we're going to use, uh, oh, dude, should I just take health? Am I just going to get absolutely ass fucked by something? You know what we're going to do, guys. We're going to put in a little, uh, little cheeky save there, because technically we're in a save room. <laughs> yes, I won't have to do this a fourth or fifth or sixth time. Um, now. Yeah, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to bother. We just saved it. I'm not going to bother with health. So we've got lots of powder to pick up. <clears throat> So we might as well mix it, because otherwise it really does take a lot of inventory space. I know you can combine it, but as Reaver actually said, um, if we combine like three powders into one, it doesn't count towards your total um, to get the enhanced ammo, because you have to mix um, a standard powder. I can't remember how many times, it's like seven times, and then on your eighth, time of mixing it you can make the enhanced powder but if you mix three powders into one slot um, that still only counts as one powder mix uh, which is sucky that zombie up here he's never gonna bother us uh, blue herbs don't care don't care about the blue herbs maybe we'll pick them up I'm probably gonna I'm gonna pick them up but not yet oh what do we have in here They're brain suckers, I believe. No, drain demos. Yeah, so it was this drain demo around the corner here that actually killed me. Oh, look at that jump. That time the auto aim worked as advertised. Yeah, so this one around the corner is what stun locked me. Cheeky little bastard. Stick that in his mouth. It'll be the last load you ever swallow, son. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Somewhat happy. Wait! Oh, I forgot about that. What did you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have, if he had transformed. <sighs> You're so compassionate. Okay. Right, well, we've got a few things to do here. Let's have a little look at this. Manager's report. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Some of the medicine in the storage room are is unstable. Okay, are unstable, and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature at the same uh, in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect, and. Uh, try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool to be used by people. Very strange sentence there, but yes. Uh, you must check all personnel uh, coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. If any of them are missing, you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked. But when you let personnel into it, you will need to have them hand in their documents. And above all else, remember that if you find anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. 
If you forget the password to the door, uh, to the lock on the door, try and remember that it is a word that everybody is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new project is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password for the term uh, from the per <laughs> from the terminal of the PC for administration. Yeah, sure, cool. So, what is our password today? This is random and changes. Safsprin. Okay. What does that say? Cure the common cold? Oh, the common cure. The common cure to what? Right. Safsprin. Okay. Right, and uh, we also have... Ah, hey, buddy. You right there? Not now. I'm busy. Yes, you're very busy. Logging all that uh, data back to Umbrella, aren't you? That combat data. So, business facts is the next one. The liquid medicine named VTJ98 is uh, suitable to cultivate the NET type virus. Therefore, we will need to order additional quantities of it. UE sixth laboratory. Hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, let's open the door. And the safe word is Safsprin. Current status locked. Please enter the password and then press the return key. Uh. Word confirmed. That's what we like. All right. Well, all this just to get an oil additive. Ridiculous. Don't actually know why there would be an oil additive here. It kind of doesn't make any sense because this is a pharmacy. So, well, I guess it's a pharmacy. Or a chemical storage area. You definitely would have thought the oil mix would have been in the... Um... Oh, it is here as well. Yeah, you definitely would have thought the chemical uh, additive would have been uh, in the gas station. Like, you know, absolutely it would have been. Oh, come on. Really? How are we still not making the good stuff yet? How are we really not making the good stuff yet? <sighs> That's because I combined a load earlier on in the Let's Play, wasn't it? Will you take the oil additive? Aye, laddie. That's really screwed us over a little bit, hasn't it? Oh dear. Well, he's having fun out there. Good old Nikolai. Right, well, we could shoot all these zombies or we could, you know, just do that. Uh, looks like this one's still going to need a few bullets. Don't shoot, let them burn. Although, technically, let them freeze because, you know, liquid uh, nitrogen. Let's actually have a look at this. Adding this to machine oil turns it into the ideal oil for use of like Yeah, exactly. There's no, like, you know, nothing special about that at all, is there? Now, you can't actually lock on to these um, pipe valves, which is curious. Are you the last one? Well, obviously not, because the music's still playing, but... Ah, uh, hey, friend. Do we even want to waste bullets on you? Yeah, go on him. Should we? Yeah, should we? Yeah. See if we can get a nice head pop. No. 
Well, he was the last one anyway. All right, right. Well, let's get out of here. Now. Now. This place has got a little bit more interesting out here, hasn't it? Out the way, love. Come on, lads. Clear the way. Clear the lane. Coming through. Yeah, um... Where Nikolai was, the body's gone now. So I guess he's got up and started having a bit of a walk around. Uh, so, let's see. Now we've just got to do some backtracking. Uh, we're going to go have a word with our nemesis. Now, before we do that, we're going to try and run past him and get to the save room. Um, yeah, we can pick those herbs up. Because, you know. Wait, can do you get the invincibility with uh, the triple herb mix in RE3? I can't remember, actually. Yeah, because I know in some of the games, if you mix um, all the three herbs together, you get a uh, invincibility. Hello, you. Yes. Nice to see you too, pal. Alright, calm down. Calm down, big guy, for God's sakes. It's quite enough of your nonsense for one day. Right, okay, so. How are we going to deal with Nemi? We have a lot of options, actually. Uh, we can shoot him to death with a handgun. That's definitely an option that, that works. We, uh, we've got the oil additive here. We can chuck that in, I guess. Mix those two bad boys. Uh, we don't need, oh, no, we don't need the reload tool. Because next load of powder we get, uh, we'll be right by a save area anyway, so, uh, okay, okay, I mean, we could take the Magnum out for a spin on him, we could do that, but, ugh, I don't know, I don't know if we need to, I don't think we need to be that extreme with it, uh, we've got lots of shotgun, let's take some heals, Maybe we'll need them, maybe we won't. Probably will. Because let's be real here. Let's be real. He's n he's not as tough as he's made out to be. Uh, in the grand scheme of things. But at the same time. You know. Misjudge him. Go easy on him. Relax around him. And he will have you over a barrel. Uh probably going to use all of that and then end up finishing him off with a shotgun. Yeah, that works. Right, well, <clears throat> let's go. Are we going to cheese him? Yeah, we'll cheese him. Oh, yeah, he gets his, he's got to get his little donkey punch in, hasn't he? He has to do that. you got to be such a dick, Nemi. Seriously. Right, we could blow him up. Hey, buddy. Yeah, ooh, got a lucky miss there. Now, fortunately, he's got his rocket launcher now. And he knows how to use it. Unfortunately. Ooh, ooh, he broke free a bit quick there, didn't he? Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thank you. May I have another? Come on, bitch. There we go. How does it feel to be so dumb, huh? Dumbass. I mean, honestly. Yeah, we just... We just can't quite get around him there. Maybe need to be stepping a little bit further back, I think. Can't use your rocket launcher there, bud. I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Maybe if we get this far out. Yeah, because we're just getting trapped by the box each time. Uh, health is questionable, but it's fine. 
Alright, there. First round. First round, dual Valentine. Come on, Emmy. Time is money, buddy. See how many shells he takes. My wager, quite a bloody few. You can't hit me with a rocket launcher, dude. I mean, I admire you for trying, I really do. But it ain't happening. Oh! Oh, he tried. He really wanted that rocket kill, didn't he? Uh, let's combine. Combine. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it, Jill. Finish off with the handgun. It probably takes... It's probably going to take a little bit more than this, but you never know. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're gravy. Right, now we've taken him out. He's not going to bother us for a while, so... Cheers, pal. I'll put that shotgun to use on your ass later. Hopefully with some nice enhanced ammo. Can you believe we're almost on 30 minutes? I'm literally dripping, man. I don't know what it is. I swear this infection is getting... <laughs> this infection is getting bad, I think. I don't know! Oh, oh God. Uh, right. <sighs> okay, let's sort this out. I guess we didn't need that anyway. Do we want to risk it and eat that? Is this actually going to fully heal us? Yes, okay, that works. Fine. Alright, let's go. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Uh, yeah, we've got the crank. You don't want to go all the way back there and find out that you've left the crank behind. That's silly. It's not like I'd ever do something like that. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, unfortunately, there's like fucking zombies everywhere now, but that's fine. Oh, God. Hello. That oh, you son of a fucking bitch. We're injured. Seriously? Come on, Jill. What are you playing at? Yes, we are injured. So that must have put us onto green, but like only barely. Ugh. Right, well, uh, right, let's go this way. Alright, fine. You can fuck off and all, mate. Three rounds left. Now, this is a nice little Brucey bonus, and I didn't realize uh, about this little copy hole for ages. And you get three packs of grenade rounds here. Now, the good thing about grenade rounds is... Uh, um, well, geez, unfortunately, grenade rounds in Resident Evil 3 are pretty crap. Uh, but, all you gotta do is get that magical ingredient, that lovely gunpowder C, sprinkle that motherfucker on top, and we have nitrogen rounds. And that's, well, that's a different story, isn't it? That's something a little bit more tastier. A little bit more tastier. A little bit tastier. The more in that sentence was redundant. Okay. Uh, right, let's go. I am looking forward to going back up to proper full length videos because it has felt a bit weird doing 20 minute videos gotta be honest not a fan of short videos myself well sometimes it works I suppose dude get out of it honestly close enough to smell his breath now I wonder how our old pal Dario is doing I'm sure he's fine Maybe he's starved to death. Maybe. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is that a Raccoon City police bike? Also, what is with these alleyways? This just doesn't feel like an American... Like, when you think of American towns, and I did read a comment um, alluding to this as well from, I think it was Jimmy and uh, Reva talking about it. 
about, you know, when I think of an American city, I think of big square blocks. This is all over the place. Come on. Um, I believe Jimmy said it's uh, more in line with like a Japanese town. I'm going to have to take your word for it. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, but um, it just it does not seem like a real city to me. So we've got some more powders. This is excellent. Right, let's grab these little gifts up, shall we? Hopefully, we can finally make some of that good stuff. Four wonderful powers. That's definitely worth coming back for. And of course, if we're aiming for Jill's diary, we need to pick this up as well. I can't help but wonder if anybody will read these words. But I, but writing them will help me maintain my sanity. If nothing else, after I've become a meal for the undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon discovering my corpse? Uh... I doubt it. I doubt anyone will really care because you're going to be stardust, buddy. So, this is how it's supposed to end. I don't want to die. I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family has been killed. But none of that matters anymore. Right now, my life is the only important thing. That's all that matters. Damn, this dude's lost everything and he still wants to live. Respect. Uh... I never would have pictured my end to be like this. I had so much left to do. Rather than becoming a salesman, I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. It's what I've always wanted. But my mother would only tell me you have a long way to go. Uh, again, that's kind of an odd thing to say in English, but okay. Um, why did I ever listen to her? But this looks like the end for the great Dario Rosso. Novelist extraordinaire, cut down before his prime. Yeah, so it sounds like he was planning on making an exit into the zombie hordes. Ah, uh, curious, I suppose. Right, anyway, cheers, buddy. You shall never be forgotten. Right. How to deal with you? Well, we can make him dance, so that's a thing. Do we really have to waste a shotgun cartridge on his ass? I guess we do. Okay, well, we could, this gives us a nice little area to end the video. Okay. Right. Familiar territory, isn't it? I always think, you know, these drawers here, there's something about them that always makes me think that we can lockpick them. Um, it kind of always bugs me that we can't. Right. Uh, let's put these back. Eventually that will be 24 nitrogen rounds. Uh, got the shotgun parts. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, it's about time to blow this place, to be honest. Yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Yes! We shall indeed create the enhanced ammo. Yes. Not bad. This is now our nemesis busting ammo. Oh yes. Now, in all honesty, I can't remember how good... Oh yes. Oh yes. I can't remember how good uh, the enhanced ammo is compared to the standard stuff. I actually think it is fairly significantly better. I'm not sure. I have a feeling enhanced shotgun shells are almost as powerful as a magnum shell. Uh, which uh, I don't know what enhanced handgun ammo would be. Um, but it, yeah, it has more poke to it. Let's just say that. Significantly more poke. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this video here, get it uploaded and rendered and all that good stuff, and up for you guys to watch. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.